Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and in the last couple of videos I've been looking at some kind of beginnery things and I have mentioned this radio a couple of times. This is the Flysky FSI6 and this particular radio uh, has been used in everything from ant weights all the way up to uh, feather weights for me over the past couple of years and it is quite a decent uh, beginner level radio that can do quite a lot. So uh, today not only am I going to recommend them, but I am actually going to look at how you do the mixing on them. Because I have a brand new one here that I'm going to set up as a lone robot at some point in time. So I want to get the mixing set on this. So it's a great time to bring you guys in and we'll do the mixing together. And I can show you some troubleshooting tips and bits and pieces that you need uh, to get all through this. Now, I'm going to use a receiver that I've recommended in the past. The link to that video will be in the description down below. I've already set up the bind between this controller and that receiver. Uh, so I won't cover that here. Again, that will be in the video in the description down below. Uh, but I will take you through absolutely everything else that you need to do to get this controller from stock to being mixed so that as you drive the stick around, the robot drives exactly the way you want it to. Let's take a look. Quickly though, we're gonna look at the electronic stack up that I've got here just so that you can see what's inside the robot and what we're dealing with. So we have a typical 2S 180 milliamp hour LiPo battery. I have an ESC, which is actually a homemade one. Uh, it's a little bit dodgy, but this is just gonna be a stand-in for any type of ESC that you wanna get uh, or can get that will drive to N20 gear motors. That's what these guys are. I have these hooked up with uh, bullet connectors or with uh, pin connectors so that I can swap them over easily to change the direction if I need to. But I will show you how to change the direction uh, without touching these and doing it all on the controller instead. Uh, and then we have a receiver down here, which once again, there is a link to a video on that in the description. Oh, and a switch because of course we need all of that. So uh, if we power up this controller and power up the robot, and once again, this is why this is a test controller because it does actually jerk around a little bit uh, when it started up. So you can see in the stock setup mode, uh, this drives one wheel forwards and backwards, and this doesn't do anything. This stick over here drives the other wheel forwards and backwards, and this does nothing at all. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to get this into the right mode. So we're gonna hit OK to get into the menu. We're gonna hit OK again to go into system. We're gonna go all the way down until we find sticks mode. We're gonna hit OK again. Then we're going to move until channel two and channel one are on the same stick, which is what they are here. So we've got channel two and channel one on the stick that is on all centered up like this. So you don't want channel one or channel two on this side, whatever side you've got that has the, uh, the throttle slider, you want it all in the same stick. So you can now see that just by having this even selected in the menu, that's that one wheel and then this is the other wheel. So that's what we want because now we can mix this stick to do both of those wheels at the same time. Now, the FSI6 has a bit of a weird quirk where if you hit and hold OK or just tap cancel to go back, uh, what will happen is it will give you a beep and if you go into the sticks mode, you'll find that it's gone back to what it was before. So we need to go back to this mode three in my case and you need to hit and hold cancel to get it to actually accept that. So if we now go in here, it actually saved that menu system this time. So anytime you wanna save anything, it's a hit and hold of cancel to get it to actually save that information. So now we're gonna go into our setup in here uh, and we're gonna do our mixing. Okay. So this is our mix menu. So uh, we've got up and down over this side, which are going to change the values in here. OK pushes you down in the menu and control pushes you back out. So if we go back into the menu, so we wanna go be on mix one, we wanna go down and we wanna go up to turn the mix on. Channel one being the master, channel two being the slave, both of those are fine. So we OK through both of those. Then we get to mix 
pos uh, positive and mix negative. So the first one of these, you want to do 100, sorry, minus 100 and minus 100. So we're literally just gonna have to sit here and hold this until we get minus 100. And I will spare you guys this and I'll get back to you when these are done. Okay, so we're there, you can see I'm on negative mix right now and I'm now at the minus 100. So that's fine, uh, so this is exactly what we want for mix one, but we're not quite done yet. We need to go and do mix number two. So we're gonna hit okay and then okay again to get back to the top. And we're gonna go up to go into mix number two. Now once again, okay to cycle through. We're gonna turn this mix on as well. We're gonna turn the master to channel two this time and then the slave to channel one this time, and then this time we're going to 100, positive 100 on both of these. So once again, I will see you when we're at positive 100. In extra fact, it's probably not gonna take that much to get there this time, uh, because we are almost there anyway. We're at 50 and 50. So once we do this, once again, you want a long hold control to get out of this. If you, uh, sorry, cancel to get out of this. If you don't long hold it, all of the work you've just done setting the hundreds and minus hundreds is gonna disappear. So you wanna long hold and get that different success beep out of it like this, done. So now we should be completely fine and have the mix set up. So. What we're looking for is that when we push forwards on our stick, we get both wheels to turn, and then when we push side, they will turn in different directions. Now, if they don't do this immediately, if there's something different, like they're not going in the right directions, we can change that in the controller, and we'll have a look at that in a second. So let's push forwards. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I've got lucky. So these are both going forwards. Now they're both going backwards. That's really cool. Now let's go left. Ah, I have messed that up. So that's going right. Uh, and that's going left. Yeah, okay, so the mix is messed up. So there are two things that we can do when the mix is messed up like this. You can go back through and you can change these values that I've given you and reset your hundreds and stuff, but those take time and are a little bit difficult to do. What I would do instead is I would change where the plugs are sitting on the receiver itself. So if I unplug these, I'm holding them so that this is channel one and this is channel two or was. We're now going to plug channel two into channel one and we're gonna do channel one into channel two, or what was channel one into channel two. Now those have been mixed up, so if we turn this guy back on, yep, and also you can see our um, plugs fell out. Okay, so now we should see, okay, so we've still got both of them going forwards, that's cool. When we push forwards, we get both going forwards. Now when we go left, there we go, that's left. Sorry, that's right. I was pushing right and it was going right. So that's fine. And then if we push to the left, it does go to the left. Now left will be this guy going forwards and this guy going backwards, which is exactly what we see. And then that one going backwards. Now, I did mention earlier that there is a way to reverse these in the mixing itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly unplug and reverse this motor. So this is just to simulate what had happened if you had messed up this wiring. So if you've messed up this side's wiring or either side's wiring, what will happen is when you push forwards, you'll see that the robot turns, right? So this guy is going forwards and this guy is going backwards, which is not what you want. Um, so what we can do with this is we can now go into the menus again. So we'll go into our menus. Uh, and again, we're going into setup and we're going into reverse now. So what we need to do is we need to find which channel this is. Now the way to do that is literally to pull the reverse and see if that's done anything. So in this case, you can see that has indeed actually done what we wanted it to do. You can see that by pushing forwards, both of those wheels are now going forwards, and if I pull backwards, both of those wheels are now going backwards. Right is right, and left is left, just like that. So 
This reverse was the right one. If this reverse wasn't the right one, all I would need to do is press up to get it back to where it was before, hit OK to move over to two and hit down to do the reverse on two. So now you can see that if I push up, both of those wheels are going backwards and if I push back, all the, both those wheels are going forward. So that's not what we want. So I'm gonna put that back to where it was, I'm gonna OK all the back, way back around to channel one uh, and then I am going to put that reverse on. Uh, and now, once again, to get this to stick, you press and hold cancel to get it to actually save that function. And now you should see when we push the forward stick, it goes forwards, goes left, uh, goes right, goes left, and goes backwards. So there you go, that is now a fully mixed transmitter. So there you go, it was a quick video today, uh, but I feel like this is important information to get out there, uh, to do that setup, to do that kind of tank skid steering off of these type of, uh, yeah, flight radios essentially. Uh, this, while it was very specific to these exact controllers, uh, that type of thing is exactly the same way you do mixing on other controllers as well. This is my Tyrannus uh, QX7, which is a more expensive controller, but the same basic idea is there. So even though the mixing style is different and how you program the mixing in is a little bit different, it's still that same idea of mixing channel one and channel two together in one mix with a positive multiplier and then channel two into channel one with a negative multiplier in a separate mix. And like I said, it's a little bit different how you do this one uh, than how you do these ones, but the primary concept is the same thing. So uh, if you move up from a radio like this to a new radio, take a stab. See what you can get by doing that type of uh, channel one into channel two negative, channel two into channel one positive mix and just see if you can get it to kind of sort of shake out in the wash. That's kind of how I did this. The guides that I found on this weren't as good as I wanted them to be. So I kind of just messed around with it a little bit until it kind of worked. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this type of thing, please let me know because I'd be happy to do a video on how I mixed this controller itself uh, and you know some other little bits of kind of more beginnery stuff uh, because I've been kind of I've been enjoying making those type of videos recently so if you want to see some more like intro into combat robot stuff please let me know in the comments down below anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed that one and I will see you in the next video